blogging for DivesAndReview.com for episode 15 of season 11 of The Biggest Loser, and it's brought to you by The Biggest Loser Resort at Fitness Ridge. Well, first things first, um, this episode is missing a particular person who was eliminated last week, and she just so happens to be in town today for the Today Show, so come on, say hi, sneak over, bend down, hi, say hi, guys. Courtney. <laughs> Now that she's not in the show anymore, she's free to roam. I'm so. here now, though, so that's what matters. Yes, and um, she's a little bitter she didn't get to go to New Zealand. A little bit. <laughs> I'm bitter I didn't get to no go to New Zealand. I got to go to Camp Emblem, though. I had fun there. But anyway, to New Zealand, everybody flies. <laughs> and now she's leaving. <laughs> Gorgeous land of New Zealand. I mean, we are I mean, just sweeping vistas. I mean, we get to see all these views. Absolutely gorgeous land. And uh, everybody goes to Auckland, where they have this thing called the Sky Tower. It's actually the tallest structure in the Southern Hemisphere. And they're like, all right, get to the top. So everyone climbs up the stairs, and a couple of the guys are visibly sweaty once they get up there. But you know what? It wasn't that bad for them. Now they're given the option. Oh, you can take the stairs back down or free fall. Uh, I would love to free fall. I would go on that thing. I just hope I wasn't too heavy like uh, like Rulin and Moses were. I kind of feel bad for them. That, that they were only a couple pounds away from being able to go on that. And Jay couldn't go because of a heart condition. But everybody's going down there. They're having a blast. But Ken, I mean, he has this look on his face. Where he's like frozen with fear. And he's extremely scared of heights. Um, apparently Bob is too. So Bob's like, all right, if you go, I go. So he's like, you know what? I've come here to overcome my fears. He's, he's overcome so much already. Why not? Bob was hoping he'd say no because Bob didn't want to go down. But they both end up doing it, and they do a great job, even though their knuckles were a little white holding on that railing before they went down. But it was, it's just a, it's very symbolic of, of how far they've come in their journey, that they're able to go out and do something like this. Um, now, this land of New Zealand has a very special tie to one person, that's Moses. His father spent a lot of time in New Zealand as a youth, uh, spent, uh, did, did a lot of his education down there, and that helped shape him as a person, and he brought that influence onto Moses. And Bob actually broke the rules, gave him a cell phone, let him call home to talk to his father, which I thought was a great thing. Um, one thing I found interesting here was the workouts they were doing. My kind of workouts, they were outdoors. If you found, you could never find me in the gym on the ranch. I was always doing my workouts outdoors. Worked out pretty well for me, I think. I lost a lot of weight. And I mean, they're slamming tires with sledgehammers, doing ladder drills, all this great outdoor stuff, enjoying the beautiful country that New Zealand is. Um, but Ken is like, he doesn't like what's going on. He calls out Kara saying, she might just not be as good as Bob and Jillian are. You know, he's afraid of how it's going to affect their numbers. She flips out on him. And she kicks his butt to no end. How's that going to work in the weigh-in? We'll see. But first, we have a challenge. Uh, and it's quite an interesting challenge, too. Actually, it reminds me a lot of the challenge I did at Camp Pendleton with the Marines, where, um, you know, you, you're going through different terrain. You're running a 5K, and you end up on the beach. Except I did it in boots that were not broken in, with a 30-pound pack on, and we had obstacles in the way. So I could feel their pain on the different terrain they were going. And the winner gets uh, a nice helicopter view of the area they're in, and plus dinner at the nearby uh, island, uh, the winning team. And uh, Green just storms out of the gate right away. And, um, but they couldn't hold their lead. They get stuck in the sand. Blue overcomes. Blue takes the victory. But Olivia and Irene give up their prize so Moses can spend time with, with his daughter Kaylee, which I thought was phenomenal. Now off to the weigh-in. Blue does not put up good numbers. Olivia, two. Irina, three. Moses, nothing. Their, their hopes are, are sinking quickly. Black comes up. Jay gains two. So, like, all right, maybe something will go on. Except Rulon drops a seven and Hannah, four. They're safe. Green comes up. Gailey, Kaylee gains four pounds. And so, but Blue team's like, all right, maybe we can make this. Not until Austin drops an eight and Ken drops a six. They're done. And it's up to Olivia and... Uh, and Moses, and then Moses actually sacrifices himself for Olivia. She wants to start a family, and he knows how important his family is to him, and he wants her to have that same wonderful feeling he has from a great family. So he sacrifices himself, everybody respects him, and uh, he goes home. He goes home early, but you know what? He's doing great now. He actually goes back to New Zealand with his father to experience it with him. And, um, you know, I really wish him well on his journey. And you know what? We've still got one more week in New Zealand, and you can find out if you watch next Tuesday, 8, 7 Central on NBC. See you then, guys.